We've got the debt ceiling drama that doesn't seem close to a conclusion. How is it all impacting markets? Let's ask Phil Orlando. He's chief equity market strategist with Federated Hermes. Good to see you, Phil. And how concerned are you on a scale of one to Bernanke? Uh, Kelly, thank you very much for having me back. Uh, I'm concerned. There's a lot of things out there. Certainly, the debt ceiling is near the top of our list. Uh, and, and here's the market sitting up at the 4,200 level. So you wonder, uh, stocks have had a phenomenal run here that are up 20 21% since their uh, mid-October bottom. Uh, to some degree, they may be overbought. Uh, and you've got a number of concerns like the debt ceiling, like the slowing consumer. Uh, and, and you wonder what's going to give. And, and we're watching as intently as anyone. You say that you expect this year to look in the, in the stock market like a barbell with a good start and a good finish. Why a good finish? And, and then that would uh, suggest that between now and the end of the year, let's say uh, mid-October to the, to the end of the year, uh, between now and then sort of muddling through or maybe down if the economy shows signs of going into recession. Why do you think we'll end on an up note? So uh, counterintuitive that, that we have uh, negative GDP prints forecast for the third and the fourth quarter, uh, and we're also concerned that the debt ceiling situation that's dragging on right now uh, might resemble what we saw in the summer of 2011, uh, President Obama and a Republican Congress. The, the stock market, remember, dropped about 10 or 15 percent of the first couple of weeks of August and in the entire third quarter of 2011, the stock market was down about 20 percent. Now, cooler heads prevailed. We successfully resolved the problem, lifted the debt ceiling. Stocks rallied by 17 percent in the fourth quarter of 2011. We, we could be looking at a similar situation here. Uh, in addition, we're forecasting negative GDP prints in the third and the fourth quarter. The Federal Reserve, we think, has probably hiked rates for the last time in the May 3rd meeting. We think they go on pause uh, on June 14th. We think they pause until sometime next year. So Do if we get negative GDP prints in the third and fourth quarter, the Fed probably comes in sometime during the fourth quarter of this year and says, you know what, if the economy is trending towards recession, we'll probably cut interest rates at some point next year. The equity market is a forward-looking discounting mechanism, probably rallies on that uh, ahead of the cuts, mm -hmm. and that's how we end up uh, with a barbell-shaped year. 